And here's a look at the plumbers of the polypropylene pipes here this afternoon. Ben Scrivens gets his second start, a victory last night, 22 of them a year ago. And Calvin Pickard into his fourth AHL game, a loser last night, but gets his second consecutive start because of an unfortunate accident to the goaltender who probably would play tonight. And it's played off the boards by Mark Fraser, and the Marlies get it out at center right. It's a two-on-one break. And over the line now with D'Amico in front of another shot right on. And a huge save by Picard right off the hop as the Marlies had a tremendous chance breaking in as Greg McKaig made a great pass in front of the net. And he'll just play it off the boards and off a skate of a player going to the bench. Here are the Marlies with an off rush and a shot right on. And a big save made by Picard and D'Amico who had the chance to go to the net is down and getting up rather slowly as he heads to the bench doubled over. And often the difference between the two levels, skating. Now here's the loose puck now with a man in front of the goal! They score! Jeff Walker cut across the middle, and the breakdown is inside the Marley zone in the far corner. And for the first time this season, the Marlies will trail in a hockey game. Well, some giveaways in the zone, and Walker, who had a very good year last year in the American Hockey League, makes no mistake, he got 18 last year, and here's the half boards. It becomes a two-on-one down low. And Walker with a nifty little move here. Gardner weaves to the left wing side, got away from the checking of Paul Carey. Here's Kadri in with a shot, bouncing puck, the rebound! And a fine glove save on a mistake made by Calvin Pickard, who didn't clear the easy shot away and had to pay for it by having to make a pretty good one. 39 seconds to work a two-man advantage for the Marlies. Stationed in front is Hamilton. Colburn back to Zygamanis. Colburn again. Zygamanis playing back of the net catch. Here it comes in front of the net. A shot. Great save by Picard. At the blue line. Four on four hockey here as it comes to the near side. Nice spinning move made by Barry. A shot scores! What a nice backhand by Tyson Barry. Makes the move to the short side and then roofs it. Well, Barry with a big time skilled move and speed here. Victory win the draw, and here's this spin around here, and Komarov just gets undressed on the play, and once that happened, the breakdown starts. Little spinorama, here he goes, right towards the net, and perfect shot. Colburn skating to center. Pass went off a skate, and almost a two on nothing going the other way. Malone still got an avenue to the net, he's not! What a save made by Scrivens! It comes out in front of the goal, and it's launched ahead, and out come the Marley. That's a huge battle there by Scrivens. When you're playing like you are with not much work and two behind you already. Back to the blue line, it goes and kept in now. Carry into the corner. Looking for a man in front, it snapped back to the blue line, winding with it as Polk, they score! All kinds of traffic in front, but all of that started when Ben Scrivens tried to wrap it out on his own. Here's the initial play. A little bat here by Ben Scrivens, but he ends up giving the puck right back into the zone. Now the Marlies are running around, but look at the traffic in front. A little catch here down low on the power play, but some real nice traffic once they get it back to the point. And I don't think that Ben Scrivens ever saw that puck. In fact, Walker in front of the net may have redirected this puck shot from the point. Gardner into the high slot, still with it, doesn't shoot it. Koska at the half boards, one penalty over, coming back into the play. His Agazino is a shot is stopped, and a high stick by Ashton. Forces the face-off to be brought all the way back down into the Toronto zone. McKaig launches it in wide of the net. He'll go in after it. McKaig's around back of the goal, a penalty coming, a shot deflected right up, rebound, scores! The backhand shot by Deshaw. Did that go in the net? Look at the chip and chase. Keep it simple. Hunt it down, go get it. That creates the uh, situation. It was going to be a penalty on the play. And there's the puck, and I believe it goes clearly in up over top of Pickard, who had no chance on it as Deshaw throws it right up over top of him. And up and uh, in. The way it came down, I would. No be... goal. Wow. I thought they're saying it didn't cross the line. Many of the Marley pucks have not been able to get through to the goaltender here, in the, particularly in the Here's second. There's a chance now for Hamilton, who breaks in a goal! And he's hauled down as the shot went wide. 
Marley's continued to press, but have not been rewarded. Back to the blue line, a shot by Yo! Rebound in front, they bang away at it, it's still free! And they hack and whack! Still free, and finally taken to safety. Pass over for Mc Gardner, a drive, and well out. And making the save with a lot of traffic in front is Calvin Pickard. A Calvin Pickard pack to pick a pack of pickled peppers. <laughs> Something. Long stretch pass with the net empty. And the icing roll scores! With 6.48 and a 3-0 at disadvantage, the Marlies pole goaltender Ben Scrivens and are going to pay for it right there. And the Lake Erie Monsters are going to have a nice bus ride back to Cleveland after a big victory here in the first ever professional shutout for Calvin Pickard.